Hello, beautiful souls. Man, it's been quite a morning for me. <laughs> My eyes are all puffy. I've been crying. I've been crying. I've just been letting it flow. Facing a lot of fears that I didn't even really realize. <laughs> so... I was married for almost 17 years. <clears throat> we had three kids and as the story goes, never ever thought I was going to get divorced. Um, but anyway, that wasn't to be that way. And so got divorced. Met this guy. I thought he was fantastic. Loved him with my whole heart. Um, He turned on me. There's really not another way for me to, to say it. And it, I mean, it's so funny because now at this point, there's not really any blame. <sighs> because I know that he was playing a role for me to be able to see my own worth. Um, and to not, and to stop you know, trying to get my worth from outside of me. And I totally, I totally see that now. And, you know, it's further continuation of the lesson for me that <clears throat> nobody is perfect. However, we do each get to decide what and how much we want to compromise ourselves in relationships because what I'm what I'm realizing is there always is a bit of give and take but if it is reciprocal then it doesn't feel imbalanced it's only if it's not reciprocated then it feels out of balance out of whack Anyway, so, yeah, shit went down with that guy. It was the only time I ever had to call the police on anyone. And he spent a day in jail. And I haven't talked to him or heard from him since. Thank God. I mean, I, I don't want to talk to him. I mean, so how I'm looking at, I mean, message received, universe. And so after that whole crap went down, pretty much I was alone. Wasn't dating, wasn't doing anything. I was, I've just been working on myself <laughs> since mid-2019. And then I think it would have been... Nine months later, after that, I met this guy on a dating app where I, w I had, it's so funny, like, spirit's like, yeah, put your, put your stuff out there, but I don't ever check it because I don't have time. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't have all of this time or energy to spend cultivating anything on any dating website, really. And online dating is just blah. But anyway, um, so anyway, I did meet this guy and we talked for a while and I met him and oh my gosh, he's amazing. And, uh, it just came in one day that it was just a temporary thing and that it was a healing, you know, it was a healing role that we were both playing for each other. But that it wasn't going to be, you know, it wasn't going to be a long-term thing. And so, you know, it kind of came in one day that, you know, we had fulfilled our contracts. And, of course, I tried to hold on a little longer because that's what I always do. Right? I, I am still programmed in many ways of wanting to be with somebody. And I always stay past the expiration date. 
Um, and I'm working on changing that. I'm and and with that particular guy, I I uh, I stayed a little longer. I uh, I thought that it was a good. Uh, I mean, if you can call a split good, he did not want to break up. Um, but it's just one of those things. I keep getting this message that I need to dive within myself. You know, if something is not right, not aligned, I know it. And half the time I can't even say how, what is exactly out of alignment. But I can feel it deep into the core of me. Or I actually get a message, you know, coming in in the form of a knowing or, um, you know, a voice that, yeah, this isn't serving you anymore. Or in that case, you know, you guys have both, you know, finished your contract. You guys both have healed each other. Oh, wow, what beautiful. Oh, God, even just thinking about it just makes me. How freaking beautiful is that? So, and that was in December. And so here it is almost June. Six months later have not been dating at all. <clears throat> Keep getting the nudge to put my dating stuff up. But I also keep, you know, I keep getting the, the message. I, I just need to continue to work on myself. I know that the work that I do for myself is way bigger than me. Even if I don't fully understand how that works. <clears throat> so, my dating website, my stuff's been up for a little bit. And I got a message from this guy. A lot of stuff in common, a lot of 3D stuff in common, which is very unusual for me to attract guys on dating websites that have their shit together financially. Anyway, so he wants to go have dinner and I... I, I haven't met him. Seems cool. But, man, I just have been going through this thing this morning. I was talking to my son about it. And because there's just all of this coming up. And I'm realizing that this is all fear. Because I'm feeling like extreme anxiety and it's not uh it's not like a message like hey don't meet this guy something bad's gonna happen that's not i i know that's not what this is it's like old beliefs about myself you know expectations all you know just all of this old paradigm stuff And my son, you know, he was talking to me about it and he's like, Mom, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to go have fun. <laughs> yeah, I do. But I know, I feel this little part of me that does not believe it. <clears throat> And this is part of what the themes, this is why the past life work is so important. I have this belief. It's been reinforced lifetime after lifetime of being alone. And I see it now. And it's almost like a deserving to be alone or... Just that it's going to happen. I'm just going to be alone. I'm going to end up alone. And I, 
I see it and I've seen it in my past lives and I've seen how it's played out. And I also know in the core of my being that that's what I'm here closing out. And it's scary. And um, it's like this fear that I just, of being seen. Like I was telling my son, I'm like, well, I'm just, I just don't know if I'm open. I mean, I'm open in so many ways. <laughs> it's so weird. But to go out on a date with somebody scares the shit out of me. And my son is like, Mom, all you have to do is show up. And I was thinking about, you know, because then he goes, you know, Mom, you know what happens if you don't ever start dating again? If you don't ever show up, what happens? He's like, you're going to be alone. Yeah, so I need to start showing up. <laughs> right? Here's the, here's the big facing of that fear. And here's the unraveling of all of the things that I've done in this lifetime to make sure I do end up alone. And the, the self-forgiveness and the compassion in, in seeing it now. Yeah, it's time I let myself off the hook. So... A lot of us are doing this work right now. And this is some deep stuff for me. This is deep. And I know today I posted in my message about uh, criticism, especially coming from mother, mother energy kind of thing. Which I deal with that too, but this is so much deeper than that for me. I know because in my sessions, in my sessions that I do, I can, it's like a theme. It's like almost everybody that I talked to yesterday had that come up. <sighs> and for me, it's, it's, so much deeper than even that for me. We're all different, but for me it's like this primal fear around letting myself be happy. Right? It is like this this belief and it's beliefs are funny because we believe them more in the core of who we are and we can intellectually and with our mind understand that it's not true but it still is true and so these are some of the things that I've been working on are these deep these deep beliefs about who I am am I you know, my worth, you know, it's all of these. I am unlovable. I am not worthy. Imposter comes up for me all the time. 
like I'm afraid of being found out, <clears throat> which is so funny because this is me now. <laughs> this is, you know, me and all my gifting. And those of, those of you that have had sessions with me, you guys know. There is no imposter now. The imposter left the building when I started to put all of those masks down. And this right now is just real. <laughs> anyway, keep doing the work. Keep doing it. It's coming up. I know it's coming up. And just by bringing it into your awareness and diving into it and maybe just trying to shift a little bit, things will change. Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I'm just going to continue to sit here and process this and, and get this through and I guess I'm going to be going out on a date later. Maybe it's better if I don't call it that. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. <laughs> Here's me and my struggle. Mm -hmm. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Love you.